Well, folks, I made it. Japan trip number four. It looks like, uh, actually, Immigration Customs is right ahead, so I gotta turn off this uh, recording here very quickly. But I'll go through the arrival formalities, hopefully get my baggage, go to the Taco Haibin, and then figure out the best way to get to my hotel. So I'll catch up with you guys uh, some point after Immigration and Customs. Got a bit more time actually. Um, we actually arrived in the satellite building of Terminal 2 at Narita. I'm on this moving walkway and there used to be a shuttle train where I'm walking right now that would connect between the two terminals. A few years ago, they shut that train down and replaced everything with moving walkways. So now we have this little alternate method to get to uh, our, um, oh, and here, warnings that the moving walk ends. Now we jump on another one. Alright, so that's got to be one of the fastest arrival procedures I've ever been through here. Um, took, I think, 20 minutes from the time I got off the plane go through immigration, collect my bags, go through customs. Customs was like several seconds, that was it. Okie dokie, let's see what we can do. Okay, Taka hai been done. It looks like in about 20 minutes uh, will be a train I can take directly to my hotel without having to change trains. This is how fast I got out of customs and immigration here. So I'm gonna check my balances on my uh, Suica card to see if I have enough to make the trip and then uh, be a piece of cake heading into Tokyo. see what the deal is. I don't know if we were going up there tonight because of the cloud cover. I will investigate. Let's check out these trees. They're like in the jungle. This elevator. 
entering Japan. Oh, my ears are popping. Oh, crap. Next stop is the Tokyo Sky Tree Demo Deck. Floor 350. Give me the English elevator. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's cross our fingers and see what we got. Well, bad luck. Unfortunately, this is what we got. I had read that the clouds were going to clear by now, but unfortunately, uh, no. You know what? This gives the view a, a distinctive feel. Sometimes it's not just about how far you can see. But this certainly gives you another different perspective. I'm not going to let this get me down. Uh, the sky tree is open for about well, another hour and a half. I'm going to make the most of it while I'm here. Well, folks, that's how trip forward night one and Japan's gonna end at a not so good but not so bad either trip to this place Tokyo Skytree so um, when I did go in uh, tonight uh, they told me that I did not need to use the fast counter for the international visitors because uh, well there was nobody here basically but um, but yeah I think um, the low visibility makes for a pretty interesting view um, not the view that I wanted but then again I think um, it brings Tokyo into something else I think when you uh, have that view plus the views from below with that cloud cover are spectacular I just posted um, one of those on my Facebook but um, so ends our first day I'm probably gonna go back to the hotel with maybe a stop at a convenience store if it's open and tomorrow we continue on our little journey Another view. But Hark, what do my eyes spy down on the ground floor? Vending machines. I think I see one particular item over here. So having one of these. I miss it. I should have enough money in my Suica for this, so let's see if uh, that will work. I'm gonna hit this and that. Perfect. And we're gonna lift this and pick up our ice cold Georgia Emerald Mountain Blend drink. Dun -dun -dun. They don't import this to the States anymore. They've long stopped that. And it's about time I go back to enjoying this wonderful iced coffee. Well, we're still here at the Sky Tree. <laughs> but check this out. I'm on the other side. I didn't realize this. Over here is a canal. And I believe it's in the direction we're looking here that the, uh, well, just had it on the map a, a moment ago. This is a, uh, this is a drawback of having to use your phone and, uh, to do maps and video at the same time. Actually, let me just check one thing. I was correct. The direction we're looking at down here. Uh, the canal will dump out to the Sumida River, which is one of the rivers that goes around uh, and through uh, Tokyo. The reason I came this way is that uh, to our left, 
It's a few minutes walk from the hotel is a 7-Eleven. And what's important about the 7-Eleven, it has foreigner friendly ATMs and that's where I'm gonna withdraw some more yen right now. So the ATM uh, visit has taken place, the money has been withdrawn and the machines have been upgraded and now all the ATM machines play lovely music when you withdraw money. It's like, here, enjoy this wonderful, soothing feeling of uh, your bank account being reduced. <laughs> so um, there's going to be one more thing I'm going to try before I tuck it in for the night. Uh, Oshiaga train station is right ahead of me. What I'm going to try to do is try to top up my IC card for tomorrow. So this way, when I leave, I won't have to worry about it so much in the morning. I can just uh, not worry about uh, low balance and just go. So it's uh, here in front of me now. It's a bit of a deep station. Um, it's a few floors down. But uh, once I can get to the machines, uh, I'll try to show you how to charge an IC card. Okay, so I think we're going to go here. I'm going to see if there's a way to charge this IC card in the regular ticketing machines. Let's go to English. Please touch the button of your yes. choice. Charge new purchase. So this Please is where you go to purchase a new IC choice. card or charge one that you already have. I have this week and that can be charged too. And we're going to insert the card. That can be my balance. And I want it to be 2,000 yen. There's also a wonderful way not only to charge, but to break big bills. I'm going to put in 10,000 yen. I can. There we go. Thank you. Please make sure that you don't leave anything behind. There we go.